Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Faviano. Welcome back to the Grand Theft Auto 5 tutorial series where we're going to be exploring uh, installing police car models today. Uh, we're going to learn about the textures and how to retexture them as well as we might get around to throwing a siren in uh, the game as well to try to uh, show you the sound effects side of things. So first things first, we're going to open up good old Google Chrome for me. Uh, we'll go to open4.com, actually. So it's going to be openiv.com. And we're going to download open4 2.64. All you got to do is just click on it, and we will download it. Once you have downloaded it, I want you to go ahead and install open 4 setupexe and uh, go through the whole paces of that just so you get that program installed, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so you have Open4 installed, or you should have everything figured out right. Uh, you should have the correct redistributables and all that good stuff that you need. Um, and here it is. We're going to double click on that guy, and it will open him up. Actually, before we do this, we need to make sure on the shortcuts, since I did shoot a um, uh, LSPDFR episode today, I had it, my SP, and here's TUT for tutorial. I'm going to just simply rename that back to Grand Theft Auto 5, so it's the main folder now and that it will use that one when I go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows, and it will start it up, load the game content, and all should be well. Now, if this is the first time you've ran um, Open 4, you're going to have to go to Tools, and you have to go to, go to the ASI Manager. So when we click on ASI Manager, it's going to let us know something here. We don't have the Open4.ASI installed. If you do not install this ASI into the main directory, you will not be able to run these mods. It just, you'll just start the game and it'll crash the game. So what do we have to do? We just simply click on the install button there and it will install it. What does it do? What we just did? Well, when we open up our, um, our main folder here, you can see we installed the open4.asi. So there it is. You have to have that in here. Otherwise it is going to crash your game. Okay. So once we have that, we can see that we're all green here. That means it's installed. Beautiful. Okay, so we're on lspdfar.com. Let's head over to the downloads area and we'll go to vehicle models since we want to install a vehicle model. One that you may want, oh my lord, here it is the 2014 Chevy Impala LSPD LSSD one that uh, you've seen me use. So we're just going to click on download this file and we're going to run through the paces of security check. Hopefully today we won't have to look for food or sailboats or car, never mind, grass. So grass in grass, verify, and we will download that file. Okay, we have a 2014 Chevy Impala here. We're going to go ahead and extract this guy out. There we go to that folder here. And inside this folder, we have another folder of the same name. Now we have car variations, documentation, extras, pictures, and vehicle files. Car variation files is going to be for this if we want to use police three slot, okay? So I, in this particular case, we're going to do that because um, I want to show you how to install the stuff correctly. So let's go ahead and go back. The main enchilada here in this file is going to be the vehicle files, which is the police 2.yft, ytd, high yft, and high ytd. What does the high mean? It means that it's the high textures. So if you're in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 and you have your texture set on medium or low, you will not utilize the, you know, the bigger uh, texture images. So that's... That's the main reason why we have a YFT and a YTD. So back to Open4, you can see that Open4 runs just like it is the, um, just like it is your GTA 5 directory, your main directory. And you can even see this LSPDFR and plugins and stuff that we installed last time. Now, since we just installed the ASI, this will not work off the bat. As you can see, it's grayed out up there. We have nothing working there. How do we fix this? We just close it and we reopen it. We're going to reopen open four. We're going to select windows. It's going to go blah, 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 blah. We're starting up. We found everything. And now we have an edit mode. Look at this. You must have an edit mode. Otherwise, you cannot modify the game files. Okay. So how does this all work? Well, basically, you have all these X64A all the way down to W. And uh, depending on what the readme file tells you to do in certain mods, you're going to have to manipulate each individual RPF. Now, the main place where all of the cars are located is in x64e.rpf. Now I'm going to show you this. We'll open up RPF, that RPF, the x64e. We'll go to levels. We'll go to GTA 5 and the vehicles.rpf, okay? In here is every single car in the game. So all we have to do is basically throw it into edit mode. We throw things into it and override it. Now we're going to be overriding police 3 today, which is what? 
it is this Taurus C looking Chevy Caprice mix hybrid thing. So basically that's what that is. Okay. So let me explain something. When we go back to the main GTA five directory, we have um, all these X64, you know, and we have the E one where all the vehicle files are. Now, when Rockstar does an update to the game, they throw everything in the update. So you just go to the update folder, you go to X64, and then you go to DLC packs. Inside of this folder, you will see we have MP Christmas, Heist, Lux, which is, you know, all the various different DLCs that came out all the way to the patch days. I can tell you off of the top of my head, uh, if you're going to be replacing a sheriff car or whatever, it's probably going to be in patch day, either 3NG or 4NG, depending on what version of game you're running. Maybe you chose to not install certain DLCs. That is why I have a 6NG because I'm on the current version of the game. So with that said, we're going to run back here to X64E levels, GTA 5 and vehicles.rpf. It is kind of imperative that over time you start to learn where everything is located. It will make uh, this a much quicker experience rather than having to read everything. You'll actually kind of know where everything is. As you can see, you know, here's the Annihilator YFT. And what does that do? That just shows us a physical model. Now, you might be going, Jeff, when I double click on a YFT file that has this little paper airplane, I'm not seeing anything here. If it's blank, that means that it's a locked vehicle model, which we are going to install. So that's going to be awesome. We're going to learn that together. So let's go down here to police three, what we are going to replace. OK, so we know there's a YFT file, which is the model file. And then we have the YTDs, which are textures. OK, so if we open up police3.ytd, you can see here is all the textures that make up police three. Okay. Now there's certain times you might come across uh, lights not being red or whatever. And uh, we'll, we'll get into that at a later date. So let's hit close on this guy and let's start editing. So all we got to do is throw this thing into edit mode. It's going to go while in editing mode, all changes will automatically be saved. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. It will say this every single time for me. Now, here is something I want to get into before we continue is the fact that, yes, I am using Windows 10. I get that a lot. People asking me what version of Windows I am. I'm on Windows 10. I don't have the same permissions you probably have turned on. I have I've gone to taken the liberty to go to Google and figure out how to make my Windows 10 experience much better than it has ever been in the past. So therefore, I don't have all these things asking me to do certain things. You might ask what um Antivirus do I run? I run the Windows Defender, the basic one from Windows. I've never had an issue. I don't use Norton and all this stuff. So if you're having those issues with opening files and all that stuff, I can't help you there. I can't. You're going to have to go out on Google and find that yourself. I'm sorry, but we have to. The show must go on, as they say. Okay, so back into the Chevy Impala folder we had where the car variations and all the fun stuff are. We have vehicle files, okay? This is going to be very easy. Remember, we threw this thing in edit mode. We said yes. And then we're just going to highlight these guys and we're going to move them over. When we do this, it is going to overwrite the files. We just saw it change. Okay. Now, what I recommend not only to back up your entire directory of Grand Theft Auto 5, but if you want to, when you start moving things into this x64e.rpf, you might want to back that RPF file up so you can just always throw it back in the main directory and you'll have your stock vehicles again. Or you can do it in builds if you would like. With that said, we did everything we need to do here. The only thing we have to do now is the car variations meta. And it says that um, right here in the readme that it, you install it to this location if we're going to use police three slot. We did not. We used the police two slot. I said we were going to use the police three slot, but we did not. If you go to the vehicle files, you'll see it's all police two. Now you go, well, how could I make that police three? All we would have to do is hit rename. We would go to change this to police three, this here to police three as well, and so on and so forth. That's all you have to do. Okay. It's not like it was back in Grand Theft Auto four where you can just make a change and it does it all. You have to do this individually. It's a little painstaking, but you have to do it. So if we want to throw that on the police three, we can. Now, keep in mind, when we're in edit mode and we threw those files on there, that's it. Finish. That's it. All That's all we can do. So when we throw that in there, we can't get those files back. We overwrote them. There's no way to get them back. So that's why it's imperative to always back up the directories that you want so we don't run into, oh my God, I didn't want that car on there. It's not a big deal. We're going to put a car on police two anyway. So I can show you how we install it to police three so we have the same vehicle. So if you chose to use police three slot where instead of the police two slot, the police two slot is going to show nothing now because I overwrote the charger. Okay. 
uh, the bu- police buffalo, essentially. But we are going to put a police two in here, so it's not a big deal. I just wanted to show you that you can throw it in police two slot. It'll work fine. You have no issues. If we open up police two dot ytd, you'll see we have all these crazy different names. As you can see, here's the Impala signs. What are those? Those are the liveries. We'll get to that in a minute. So we go to the car variations and read the readme. It says, hey, if you're going to use police three slot, you install this file to this, or you can do this manually. Uh, based off a lot of comments that I see, I would not go the manual way. Just go ahead and take the car variations meta and put it where it belongs. Where does it belong? Right here. DLC packs, MP Christmas 2, common data. So we'll go to GTA 5, we'll go to update, we'll go to uh, X64, DLC packs, MP Christmas 2. We'll go to DLC.RPF, common data. Look for the car variations meta. Where is it at? Oh, there it is right there. It's 13.7 kilobytes. We're in edit mode. We're all good to go. Get in the habit of turning off edit mode in between movements so you don't accidentally move things over. Back into edit mode, yes. And we just move the car variations file over top of that. It's 16.06 kilobytes now. And you can see it's no longer encrypted, it's compressed. That means that we have changed it out successfully. We'll take that out of edit mode. It's kind of a good uh, practice to get in the habit of tra- taking out of edit mode between things. Okay, so we threw that on top of there. Now, remember, in here, we changed the name of the vehicle files to police three now, where we want it to actually go. So let's go back into X64E levels, GTA 5, vehicles, and then in here where police three is, which is the one we wanted to originally do, uh, we would just take these guys and we'll throw it over. Oh, see how we get that? The no smoking sign? What does that mean? Edit mode. Yes, we want to do that. We'll take him, throw him on top of there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If we wanted to make this a sheriff vehicle, all we would have to do is rename this to sheriff, right? So sheriff, like this, YFT. Where would that go? GTA 5, update, X64, if we can open it, DLC packs, patch day, either 3NG or 4NG. It's probably going to be 3NG on the sheriff car, and I think 4NG was on the uh, Tahoe. But let's check real fast, DLC, X64 levels, GTA 5, vehicles. And in here, we can see there's Sheriff, no Sheriff. So it was not in four, it was in three. Like I said, you're going to have to, it might change from person to person. So let's go check the uh, number three here. And we'll see if Sheriff's in here. If it is, we're going to be in good shape. And there it is, Sheriff and Sheriff 2 is in there. So the Sheriff YFT car is right here. If we wanted this to, our Impala to be a Sheriff vehicle, we just rename it to Sheriff like that. Take all four of those and overwrite them. That's all we would have to do. Okay, hopefully I haven't lost you guys completely yet. We're back here on LSPDFR and we're going to get a vehicle texture. So we'll go to vehicle textures here and we want to get a correct texture for the car we just installed, which is that um, the, 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 the Impala. So we're kind of scrolling down here going, hey, what can we use? Well, I'm going to use the ones that I use, which are HD LSPD liveries for the 2014 Impala by Bogdan M. He did a great job on them. I'll just tell you something that uh, you may run into. Well, let's hit download this file. Let's do the paces where it says, hey, I'm, I'm not a robot. And we get, hey, it actually, we don't have to search for cups of coffee in houses today. We hit submit and she starts downloading. Okay, here it is in our downloads. We hit extract to that guy, and we're going to get the LSPD Impala 2014 1.0. Now, when we open this, I can tell you guys right now, don't use the 4096 pixels. These have, uh, every single time I use any of these, they have resulted in an out-of-memory error for my Open 4. I don't know why that is. If you have the same issue, stick with the 2048 pixel ones, and it will work fine. So... Let's go back to open four right here. We'll go down to X64E. This is where we installed that car. Remember, levels, GTA 5, vehicles.rpf. And we'll come down here to Paris, 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 free. Remember, we did police two accidentally in the beginning. Don't mind that. We'll, we're going to install the charger on top of that. So three here. Where's it at? YFT, YTD, okay? So we got to do the YTD. Now, it gets redundant because anytime we replace the YTD file on here on police three, we have to do the same thing for police three high dot YTD, okay? So if you notice, I opened police three dot YTD. And this, the way that uh, BX Bugs made this model, it worked fine. So we have everything there, but when we go to the high dot YTD, 
we have less things here. We don't have to overwrite them. So it kind of makes it less redundant. But in other vehicle models, you will have to replace the signs on top or, you know, the textures that you're replacing on the high model, on the high model and the low model. OK, that's all. So let's go to police three YTD. Double click this guy. Remember, we're in edit mode right here. If we're not in edit mode, we won't get these options up here. Notice how if I take it out of edit mode and we double click here, we don't get all the options that we had just a minute ago. Right. So make sure we're in edit mode if we're going to edit this file. Once we do that, let's open the YTD file again. We have the textures. Now, here is AR logo, black, blah, 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 blah. These are all things that mean nothing to you for right now. We want to install skins. So we have Impala sign one, sign two, sign three, so on and so forth, all the way down to eight, eight different liveries on this model. Some models only will let you have one. Some models will let you have two. It depends on the modder themselves. So we know what we want. Uh, we have these in their, our downloads. All we have to do is replace them. Very simple to do. We just hit the replace button here and look at this in the downloads in here. 2048. Remember now we can go one hit open. It will replace that texture. See? So now we just do the same thing for two hit replace. Where's two at sign two right there. Hit open. Boom. And we continue this over and over all the way till we get six. Okay, so I put all six on there. Now, remember, we have up to eight different signs we can have, liveries we can have, but we're only going to put six in here, and you're probably never going to see those other ones unless you go in a trainer yourself and make that livery happen. So we have all these in here. You should have all six of these in here as well, like I do, and we're good to go. Before, we can't just X out of here and go, okay, we're off to the, off to the races. We hit save. We hit save and it's going to take a minute. Now, if you run the 40, 96 or the big high textures, it will cause an out of memory error on your open four and will crash open four. You'll have to start over again. That will be no fun. So once we're done with that, take it out of edit mode and we're good to go. Okay. So now we want a car to replace a uh, police two really quick. Let's just, let's just get it done. We have camel KFB's uh, Dodge charger RT. This is the one I use for police two slot. So it'll make sense. Let's go ahead and download this thing and put it in GTA. Okay, there's our Dodge Charger. Let's go ahead and extract that guy out of there. Shaboom, back to here. And look here, there's Police 2 already set up and ready to go for us. If you read the readme file, I'll tell you how to install it. And I recommend that as always. Uh, right here, actually, look at this. To use, open and go to this. DLC packs patched a 3NG. So that's whenever they replaced Police 2. So this means that this Police 2 is absolutely obsolete to us. We install this one whenever we remember we put that Impala in there. It doesn't matter. It's going to go by the updates folder. So we'll go update. We'll go to X64 DLC packs. What did it say? NG2, I believe, patch day 3NG. So we go to patch day 3NG DLC X64 levels GTA 5 vehicles.rpf. Okay. And in here, look, we'll have a police two right here because it was updated by Rockstar on that date that it specifies. So that's why we have to install it there. Okay. So all we got to do is throw this guy into edit mode, hit yes. And we're going to take all four of those guys and throw them over and it will overwrite those. And we will have a charger model instead of the police Buffalo. Now, Jeff, you might be asking, you're putting in more than one vehicle before we go out and play Grand Theft Auto. Remember, I'm doing a tutorial for you. You need to go into Grand Theft Auto 5 every time you install something and double check to make sure it's good to go before you throw a bunch of things in there and things don't work out for you. So we replaced police2.yft. If we double click this guy, it's an unlocked model. So we will actually see it in here and we can say, hey, look, we installed it correctly. It will show up in the police2 slot in the game now. Okay, so I think you guys have it down enough now. We did you did two different cars. If you downloaded a Crown Vic or something, you can put it on your police one slot or you can even put it on a sheriff slot, however you want to. I explained to you how to do that. You're, you're off to have a great time downloading models and replacing them in the game. Or a lot of them have standalones. And if they are standalones, you need to read the README completely because it will tell you exactly how to install that standalone model. Keep in mind, you'll have to spawn it in the game with a trainer and know the exact name of that model. So it's it's kind of hit or miss. I choose to not really do a lot of standalones for that reason. So let's head off and let's install a siren. 
Okay, we're back on LSPDFR.com, LCPDFR.com, whatever you want to call it. We're under the GTA 5 mods and audio, and we came across this siren that I use personally. It's the GTA 5 Realistic American Sirens Pack, and we're going to go ahead and download this guy. And we will hit, I am not the robot. Let it go. Hit submit. Okay, we downloaded our sirens. Here they are. We'll hit 7-zip extract 2. You may be using WinRAR. It's perfectly fine. Not that any of you will listen to that exact thing that I just said, and you'll repeat it to me in the comments below. Let's go on to GTA 5 American Sirens V3. There it is. Double click it. And here we go. So we have a bunch of options here, but if we read the readme, it pretty much tells you exactly how to do it. Remember the X64 audio F SFX? That's where we're going to be hanging out in the resident.rpf. Inside there, there's going to be 16 AWC files. Right click an empty space and import just exactly how I was talking about here. We're in edit mode and we can import, right? So to install this siren, all we have to do is right click here inside of open four, import open formats. We'll be greeted with this in our downloads. We want to search out for that American Sirens V3, open that folder up and there's that vehicles OAC file. Okay. That's what we are looking for. The vehicles.oac. Read the readme in case you want different optional things, but this is what we want. We hit open and we're greeted with this thing here. Open formats, import files, and we just hit OK. It will import that guy and we're off to the races. Woohoo! We installed a siren. Now, how can we find out if we d actually did a did install a siren? We could look this guy up, the siren 2. Okay, so we heard that. And we can try to recreate that with Siren 2 inside the vehicle's AWC. So if we come down here to Siren 2, where is it at? Uh, H-I, Siren 2, here it is. Double click it. There it is. So we know we installed that Siren correctly. Okay, we went ahead and installed a police car and a Siren. And we even changed out the textures on said police car. We're going to hop into Grand Theft Auto 5 and check it out. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that if you download a siren that doesn't have the vehicles.oac deal that we just did, um, read the readme because it requires you to actually create one of those folders yourself. It can be kind of time consuming. So always check the readme files. Don't go. Well, Jeff said that we have to just do it this way. There is more, you know, more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. So keep that in mind before you start downloading every siren known to man. So all we have to do is just close out open four and we're done. We can go ahead and start LSPDFR. I'm just going to go ahead and go into my uh, main one that I've been using here for tutorial reasons and double click rage plugin. Now, before we do this, remember we installed simple trainer. Okay. Trainer five here, the one that I use. Now, when you get um, the script hook and all that, you're going to get native trainer.asi that comes with it. Just delete it. You don't need it. Um, if you're using the one I use, I was just showing people how to use the one I use. You can also use that one if you would like and, and so on and so forth. So with that said, let's go ahead and start rage plug and hook.exe. Or if you remember, if you were smart like me and sent it to your desktop, created a shortcut to it, you could hit it there. Back in Grand Theft Auto 5, running outside of our auntie's house. We're in the street. We'll hit F3 to open up our trainer. I'll head over here to vehicle spawning. We'll go to emergency. We'll open up police cruiser two. And look at that. We've got a Dodge Charger. And we've got the siren installed. See? Look at that. It wasn't too hard, was it? Not too bad at all. All right, cool. We'll pull into here real fast. We'll hop out. And let's run forward a little bit here. We'll hit uh, F3 again. I'll go to vehicle spawning emergency. Let's do police cruiser three. That should be the Impala. And it's not, so we installed that incorrectly. So, Police 3 did not work. The Impala did not work, so let's find out why that is. Let's open up Open 4. We'll hit Windows here. It's starting it up. I have a feeling that we have to throw it into an update. Remember, we threw that on top of the other Police 3 in there. Um, so, it's probably going to go where it went with the other thing. So, let's go to Update, X64, DLC Packs. Let's try uh, MP Christmas 2, first of all, DLC, X64. Uh, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, Xmas vehicles 2, and see if it's in there. No, it is not. So let's go back to DLCs. Okay, let's try patch day 4N, 4NG is the one. DLC, X64, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, and there it is. Police 3, YFT. 
There she is. That's a, that's the culprit. This is why I was talking about how uh, Rockstar does their DLC packs thing to overwrite anything we had thrown in X64E below. Uh, so to fix this, it's very, very simple. We're just going to open up our downloads where we had everything the Chevy Impala at. And inside here, we have vehicle files here. Police 3 um, is what I named those. We'll take all these. Remember, we had to be in edit mode first, so hit yes. We take all four of those guys and throw it over the top. So it was in 4NG. That was easy enough. So we wait this thing out. There we go. And all we have to do is close these guys out. Take it out of edit mode. Close it out. And start GTA 5. Back in Grand Theft Auto 5, Auntie asking for a foot rub as usual. We hit F3 to open our trainer. We go to vehicle spawning, emergency, and police cruiser three. We should have an Impala. And we do, look at that. But we uh, did not overwrite the, uh, we didn't change out the things on that. So we have the default skins, but I showed you how to change the skins. You'll just have to go into that patch day 4NG and uh, change out the YTD files for that. So if you're confused with what I just said, we just go to update x64 x64 there dlc packs patch day 4ng dlc x64 levels gta 5 vehicles and in police 3.ytd when we open this up remember we just overrided everything we have to put those in the signs in again so to do that remember we just got to be in edit mode to do that hit yes double click it and we're good to go here so if we just come down here to sign one we can hit the replace button and go to the downloads where we had those um liveries right here remember 2048 pixels and hit open and so and so forth do those for all six of those if you'd like hit save and you are done okay guys that's gonna do it for this tutorial next time in part three we're gonna go over call outs and custom plugins as well as uh we'll install a physics mod um, we will install some custom scripts, meaning like the spotlight or the Corona mod I have installed that gives you the brighter lights and whatnot. I hope these tutorials are helping you guys and I'll see you at the next one. Take care.